I'm here with Barry B. Benson, the bee who sued the humans for stealing our honey. Do you like the law, Barry? I do. For a bee, if you want justice, you usually have to sting someone. What about Mr. Montgomery? What was he like? Oh, him? He's the worst. A sleazeburger of the first order. Why do you say that? Because of all the rotten things he was into. You know, many people know about the honey crisis, but not everyone knows about the actual conspiracy at work behind it. Did you say conspiracy? I said conspiracy. Oh, sure, it wasn't enough that the humans were stealing all of our honey. They were up to something much worse, and Montgomery was at the soft, chewy center of it. That's why I needed to find proof. Really? Well, this is the kind of serious, hard-nosed journalism that I was born to report. What was that? Nothing. Where was I? Heinous conspiracy of epic proportions. I, I didn't say that, exactly. Please, Barry, go on. Tell us more. There he is. Ready, Adam? Giles, take me to La Couchon. I'm hungry. And take the long way. I have to place a call. Yes, sir. Ready? Hey, hey, wait. Barry. Ready! But go! Sweet. <laughs> Man, I don't care how much it costs. Just buy it. No, not stock, you fool. Honey. Heads up, beautiful day in the city. Thank you for joining us on Adventure Tours Inside, <coughs> where every trip is an adventure. And on the top deck, you'll see a few. Oh, me! Nice try. Watch away!
Hey, you're in good shape. You don't even look winded. Barry, I was trying to tell you. La Couchon was just down the street. I walked here. Oh, I... I... That must have been some call. You went all over. So what's the plan? Right. Montgomery went into that restaurant. I'll take the front, you take the back. And then we jump him. No, we spy on him. Be a fly on the wall, get it? Yeah. Wait. I hate flies. Come on. I'm inside. Okay, Adam, I see them. So, how are you gonna get close enough to hear what they're saying? Adam, I may... We... No sweat. Disgusting saying. No sweat.
Waiter, there's a bee in my soup. Monsieur Montgomery, uh, I, I do so apologize. Uh, that's quite all right. Please, uh, let me show messieurs to another table, uh, one that will be more to their liking. Get out of here. Get out of here.
buy him with that much cash. Adam, hey, come in. I just took a picture of more clams than I've ever seen before. All right. Uh, what do you think they charge for a seafood platter around here? No, I meant money. Oh, never mind. Meet me in the back section. Come on, let's get out of here. Come on, let's get out of here. So tell me, how are things shaping up? Very well. We've recently had a breakthrough that I think you should see. Superb. Yes, sir, I am pleased to hear it. I told you this idea was of the blue ribbon variety, and if we play our cards right, you and I, very soon we will be holding the keys to the Honey Kingdom. But what about the bee? <laughs> ah, yes, the bee. Well, I wouldn't fret none too much about him. I think between this case and what we have in store are Mr. Benson and all of his kind are about to come down with a bad case of the hives, as it were. But how can you be sure? Firstly, I'll tell you right now that with what I have in my office, I could bring this case to a close before it even becomes a problem for us. Yes, sir. As for the rest, let's just say that I have a sense about these things. I assume it's in a secure location. My dear fellow, what do you take me for? It's in my safe in my most inner of inner sanctums. Only two of my most trusted partners in my office and I share the three different pieces of the access code, which constantly scrambles. They have to use their computers to get it each time. So, I know every move they make. Now, why don't you just leave it all to me? Adam, do you read? Usually a few chapters before bed. It helps me fall asleep. <sighs> Listen, I'm on to something. We're out of here.